Caleb Plant versus Trevor McCombe. Let's talk about this fight. I hadn't heard of Trevor McCombe before, so I'd done a bit of research on him and I found out that he hadn't had a fight for five years between the years of 2018 and 2023. And from then to this fight here, he had about three fights and then he's coming to fight Caleb Plant. So I'm like, this is definitely, in my opinion, a tune-up fight for Caleb Plant just to get himself back into the winner's bracket and march on to whatever he wants to do. Then I find out that it's for an interim title. I think it's the WBA interim title. So whoever wins this will then be in line to fight the champion who is at this present moment, Canelo Alvarez, who had already beaten Caleb Blunt to take his IBF title away from him on Canelo's way to becoming undisputed at Super Middleweight. So Caleb Plant versus Trevor McCombie. This is Caleb Plant's first fight since he lost to David Benavidez last year in March. So it had been over a year since Caleb had fought. I was expecting a bit of ring rust and I was expecting a slow start because Caleb Plant is more like a pugilist specialist type boxer where he is one who is a pure boxer, doesn't want to get touched in the ring, hit and don't get hit, dodge raindrops in the rain type boxer. So he has a very economic output and he's a very much a counter puncher. He faints a lot, beckoning you in so that then you start to have an output and then he counters your output with his shots. So I was expecting a lot of that from Caleb Plant in the first few rounds. And in the first two rounds, it was exactly that. He got caught with a shot. So Trevor McCombe caught Caleb Plant with a shot. It seemed to be a lunging left hook at the end of the second round. Caleb Plant grabbed on but was visibly hurt and took a knee. Now, I counted that as a knockdown. The referee was like, no knockdown, no knockdown. I'm like, why is that not a knockdown? That's a definite knockdown in my opinion. Even though he held on for about a second or maybe two seconds before he went down, he went down as a result of that punch. And when the ref said no knockdown and Caleb got back up, Caleb was visibly hurt, shaky, knees were gone. I'm like, yo, Trevor McCombie's come out here to beat this guy up. This is not a joke. So anyway, that was the end of the second round. Beginning of the third round, Trevor McCombie comes out, all guns blazing, throws a wild attack, a big throwy of punches. Taylor Plant seems to still be hurt, in my opinion, and he tries to hold, he, he dips and ducks a few punches, tries to hold, and as a result of that, he drops to the ground. That was definitely not a knockdown, per se. It could have been a knockdown as well, because the punches were being thrown as he fell. But I could have seen why the referee also said that wasn't a knockdown. But Caleb Plant seems to be hurt right now, and he seems to be trying to recover. So he spends the majority of that third round trying to recover. We go into the fourth round, and in this round, legitimately, Trevor gets a knockdown in the fourth. So he knocks Caleb Plant down in the fourth round. I'm thinking, yo, this is not looking good for Caleb. It looks like he might have to suffer a loss again, because Trevor has come out here to win. But he gets back up, and they continue to battle on. In between all of that, Trevor's doing a lot of showboating. You know, the Billy Joe Saunders look out the ring thing when, he, when the punches misses him from far and stuff. And it's looking good. And I'm like, yo, Trevor's winning this fight. But I actually, at that point, had it... We're talking about the end of the fourth or fifth round. The end of the fourth round, he had a knockdown round. And he also, for me, won the second round. Caleb, for me, won the... Well, he won the no, third round. So Caleb won the first two rounds. Mukambi won the second and the third. He was knocked down in the third, in my opinion. So we're at the fifth round and Caleb Plant seems to now be trying to recover a lot more. Trying to recover and doing a good job of recovering. Um, he's starting to change his tactic and actually start to press the action now. Step into the punches and push Trevor Mukambi back with shots and selections of shots and combinations and he's catching him with a lot of the shots in the combinations and now Caleb Plant's starting to showboat as well a flurry after flurry while he's pushing him back into the corner McCombie seems to be tiring 
or his output is getting less and less and he's trying to fight back but Caleb is really putting the pressure on so he's let go of his style of being a pugilist specialist and now he's been a boxer puncher walking forward throwing a lot of shots a bit of pressure and good shot selection as he continues to do this through six seven and eight he clearly starts to come back into the fight and starts to wear down Trevor McCombie. He acquires a cut above his eye. Trevor McCombie acquires a cut above his, I think it was his right eye. And it's just not looking good for him. He's on the ropes a lot. And he's getting a lot of punches. Throw, he's receiving a lot of punches without much coming back. So he's not really letting go of any shots, but he's taking a lot of punishment. Throwing a lot of sh a little shots here and there just to make sure that the ref don't stop it. But at the very end of the ninth round, as the bell is about to ring, with Caleb Plant throwing a lot of shots and McCombie being on the ropes doing nothing, the ref stops it right there. I think personally he shouldn't have stopped it there. He should have let the round end and it go into the tenth and let Trevor keep on going and see if he can recover and come back into the fight because he wasn't necessarily in my opinion hurt hurt he hadn't touched the canvas he hadn't touched the canvas at all it was it was Caleb that had been touching touching ground and McCombe all he done was get a cut in the fifth round I think but if the ref stopped it and made sure that Caleb Plant got his win he could have more than likely won on the cards if it had gone the distance. But the way Trevor was going on, he himself could have actually stopped Caleb Plant going forward into that fight. It was a very entertaining fight. It shocked me. I didn't realise that this was going to be as good a fight as it was. And it's nice to have them shock fights on cards where you think it's going to be a foregone conclusion and it turns out to be a very good fight. So going forward, this is one of them losses where Trevor McCombie has made a little, little name for himself. Coming out there looking like anything out of the 80s, late 70s to early 80s sitcoms from America, like Magnum or anything, something like that, you know. This guy had the big moustache and the, the, I don't even know what you call that hairstyle. But yeah, this guy was looking like anything out of the 80s. But he was definitely up to the task, very in shape and ready, rearing to go. And... I would like to see more. I want to see him fight some of these other um, contenders at Super Middleweight. As for Caleb Plant, he's now won this interim WBA title. Will he leverage that to try and get another fight with Canelo? I'm not sure. He got knocked out. This, Caleb Plant was Canelo's last knockout. So he got knocked out by, by Canelo. So to see him fight him again... I don't know if that, that's going to be a hot ticket, you know. Probably Canelo fighting anybody is a hot ticket. So a rematch with Caleb Plant would probably sell. I can see Caleb Plant being more on the level of, I'm waiting to see if Canelo decides to retire so I can grab that WBA belt through the email, through the post, you know. That's what I could see him trying to do. But you never know. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to go gun a hole and try and get another Canelo fight. I would not be surprised because we know that is the money fight and you have that fight you get the biggest paydays that you're going to get so why not top up the top up the pension for you and your family i don't see why not we'll see what's going on going forward but this was an excellent fight on the night well done to both combatants well done caleb plant for your victory and well done to trevor mccombie for putting your name out there and putting yourself on the map Nice. I will see you guys in the next video.